I know I need to size up a few And when I defang the viper Trust me, ain't gonna come from nowhere Jeff, I already put you out I don't even know why you're out here right now Keep on talking Hey, hey, do me a favor Why don't you act like this is an AA meeting And you shut your mouth while I'm sharing with the crew And Mustafa, you out here A boy of one man And I'm gonna tell you what you got lucky at the Rumble, so I know you're gonna come out here and run your mouth about how bad you are. But let me give you a little bit of a reality check. You see, Mustafa, you said that my eyes don't lie. Well, your eyes don't lie either, because last week, they were closed real tight when I put your simple ass to sleep. And AJ, hey man, be honest with me. How's our old girl Wendy doing? Welcome back to the Park Street Wrestling Podcast. It's me, Hafiz, and with me as always is Devin, and we have a special guest with us today, Joe Bay. Welcome in, uh, sir. How you doing? The Grand I'm Sire, good. I like the nickname. Oh, I, the appreciate Listen, I appreciate that. I appreciate Whole story. Grand I was, sire? Okay. Yes, the Grand Sire of the <laughs> podcast because he was the one that put the brainchild in there when we first met. It got me My thinking, man. got the wheels turning like, hmm, maybe podcast eh? Just okay here. and yeah, it, was, yeah. it was just a cd plant and, and it just where grew we are. Oh, wow. <laughs> like, where we okay, are yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, i appreciate that man yeah we 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 met at that uh that uh that dusty verizon store yeah uh, yep. <laughs> i was a, a couple months i was <laughs> i was a couple months into uh doing the hard camera with my tag team partner big ren and uh yeah man got the rapping and that's how it happened here we are, man. 2022. What a time! What a right. time! <laughs> uh, but I'm feeling good, brothers, man. Thank you for having me, man. I always look forward to uh, to, to these moments. Yeah, man. Always fun talking to you. You know, and we're gonna have some fun here. We're gonna talk some yes, wrestling. Yes. We're gonna talk a little yes, bit sir. of AEW Revolution, doing predictions. But also, too, before we get into that, uh, just a couple notes from Raw. Uh, a couple big things that happened. There was a title change that mm-hmm. happened. A couple mm-hmm. heel turns that happened. So mm-hmm. we'll jump right into that. Uh, first off, I think, well, for me, the big thing, when I saw the Finn balor Damian Priest match set up, I thought, okay, I want Finn to win this. Like, I'm, I'm want, I don't believe it's going to happen, but I want him to win it. I feel like he needs it. He's been off television. Like, okay, if, there, if not now, maybe he's off television until his contract runs up. And yeah. I don't know when his contract is up, <laughs> right. but I just did not have high hopes for what was going on with Finn. So this match gets set up. I'm like, Okay, let's see what happens. And it's going good back and forth, you know. But then one, two, three, he wins the matchup. Mm. He's U.S. champion. And on top of that, on Damian Priest's side, I mean, it was a great match. So both guys Mm -hmm. look good in this. Mm -hmm. But Damian Priest had a promo at the end talking about, hey, these people carried you through that match. You know, me, as I was I was champion, I had great matches, but they never were really behind me. But you, they carried you through it. And he's like, I'm going to get that championship back. Mm. Clocks him in the face, you know, knocks him down. <laughs> um, does the, I call it just the razor's edge. I mean, that's just yep. how I know yeah, it. Razor's <laughs> edge. Yeah, what it is. Bro. Outsider's Bro. edge, you know, if you WCW. And, you know, he threw him on the table, you know, just like let people know, like, yeah, I hear you. I hear you. I hear you going. <laughs> and now he's soaking it in. So he's I am the bad guy. Yeah, right. I am. There you go. He said, I am the bad guy. So Say he's hello. accepting this role as being a heel. Uh, what do you guys think of this situation, both from Finn and Damian's side? Jove, man, I'm going to start with you. Um, I've been on record for a long time saying that I've never really been like a Damian Priest guy um, <laughs> from NXT. I will Arrow say this. Guy. Yeah, the Arrow <laughs> guy. Like, no, I give him that. He, now, that's a cool taunt that he sold from Luke Harper, rest in peace. But mm. I've never just – the Finn Balor Damian Priest match – at uh mm. right yeah, that's you know a great saying? point the whole <laughs> arrow right. thing right. luke harper when he right. did it, i didn't have a problem and with it, it. Yeah, but way, for better. Some he did it way better <laughs> yeah he did yeah uh, that's why i was annoyed. It sunk yeah. in now i was like they uh they had that nxt takeover match nxt in your house and that was a really good match finn and damian priest that was really good so they had that chemistry there i've just never been a damian priest guy um but i know from the jump, right? They've 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 seen something in him yeah. from the very beginning. Um, that was a really long time. He won it what SummerSlam? 
Yeah, it was almost so 200 so days. 100 and Yeah, I think he took it from Seamus. 100 days. Yeah, yeah. Yep, took it from yeah. Seamus. Yes, he took it from so, Seamus. Yep, yep, yep. Long title reign in an era where reigns aren't that long. Um, mm -hmm. And he was featured on TV. And they'd been teasing the whole, you know, is he Damien or is he Priest <laughs> thing. Have they dropped that, though? No. I, no. This whole thing? Because okay. I feel like we didn't see that, though, really. Well, we didn't. But when he did a move, it was mm. he did certain like you're a nagi, but they called it something else. Like they okay, nicknamed okay. it as the, the uh heavens. south of heaven, so, something with the south heaven. I heaven. remember yeah. right. And I was like, but okay, that's they been still, the name of the move for a while though. Cool. Yeah. yeah, I remember seeing on this Titan Tron, um, like they'll go from like Damien and like blue that's still letters. there. Yes, or, uh, Damien and red letters and priest yeah. and blue letters. Like it's still you know kind of a thing. Yeah. Um, I'm here. I'm here for anything, Finn Balor. I've been wondering for a while where he's been. Yeah, um, yeah. I'm here for anything Finn Balor. I wanted to see, you know, the Prince from NXT. Mm -hmm. That revitalized a lot of damage that was done, you know, in his first main roster run in my eyes. Uh, so when he came back, I was excited. And then, you know, we went back to, you know, the Demon, which I thought was a little unnecessary. Um, he was strong enough to break ring ropes. <laughs> and have everyone forget about it. <laughs> you know, so my man stood up there, all 190 pounds, got in the and, and God came and broke them ring ropes. <laughs> you know, what I'm saying? Boy. so you know, I uh, so I'm I'm interested in this. I'm interested in, in you know in what what Finn does. Um, I feel like this is a way to kind of platform a springboard, Damian Priest, and maybe the upper mid card to see mm. what he can do there. Um, I feel like they're gonna need some some heel talent, just more talent in the main event scene. Um, especially after whatever happens in Mania, um, but yeah, I'm 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 intrigued. Like I said, I'm here for anything Finn Balor does. So let's, because uh, listen, cats like me, whenever the whenever the contract is up, especially a Finn Balor, mm -hmm. like his Bullet Club history, mm -hmm. like that's an instant AEW signing, right? More more than others. Yeah, like, when, once the Prince is back, once the Prince is back, so yeah, put him on TV, let him do some, show his value, um, try to keep him there. Yeah, I'm down for anything Finn does. Yeah. Devin, what about you? Oh, man. So, first of all, I, I felt like you. Like, I, I want it to happen. I'm thinking about, yeah, they do got history. So, good point about NXT in your house. I remember that. And Finn beat him. But are they going to let Finn win? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because the way they're building Damian Priest, you see how they're, you know, just they're, 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 they're trying to build him up. Like, mm -hmm. he had the U.S. title for damn near 200 days. Beating everybody who was trying to challenge him, he did the open challenge for, uh, for a while as well. He beat everybody, man. So they gave him a good, lengthy title reign. So I mm -hmm. appreciate that. And Dam and Damian Priest lost to Finn Balor. So Finn Balor is get a good, clean win. I saw bits of the Prince. Saw that aggression. He was just doing the constant foot stumps. I'm like, okay, I'm feeling this. I like that. I like that. <clears throat> so uh, I'm digging this, man. And I'm digging like, okay. Let's continue it now. And it's perfect mm -hmm. for a nice setup for WrestleMania. So I'm cool with, you know, keeping... You say continuing the feud between him and Damien? Yeah, him and Damien, man. Okay. For for WrestleMania, man. Because yeah. I, I think it, it, it I think it, it's a good feud to continue because Damien is 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 healed now. He said, Hey, you know what I'm saying? The, the crowd got you. <laughs> it was a little hokey the way you said it. Yeah, you know? I liked it. I liked it. Because I had to feel like it was true. You know, like it was factual. It was, it did yeah. feel a little like, eh, you know, yeah. is he really? We did like you as the arrow guy. You know, I must admit, when you was arrow guy, you was doing your thing, man. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You was there matched up with Bad Bunny. You was just yeah. being you. And then they gave you that little. That little persona to Damien Priest. And, what does Bad yeah. Bunny think of this? He must not be happy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> His boy wilding out. <laughs> but I think about when uh, when he was going against Jeff Hardy, that, that is Damien Priest, like that crowd, it seemed like they were really wanting Jeff Hardy to win and yeah. they weren't really behind Damien Priest beating Jeff Hardy. And so Damien Priest really went out of his way to show Jeff Hardy respect. Like, hey, man, you know, you're one of my heroes, you know, like great match and just really tried to play that baby face card. But in that more respectful of his elders kind of way, you know. And so I feel like with him going this route of saying the crowd isn't with me, they're with you. I just think back to moments like that where I'm like, you know, there are plenty of moments where it seemed like this crowd was kind of like even I'll be real when he went against Shelton Benjamin. 
I kind of wanted Shelton Benjamin to win that match. <laughs> I'm like, oh, Shelton, this would be great for Shelton. Like, what is he doing? You yeah. know, this whole thing with the Hurt Business is a mess. Like, he's been kicked out of Hurt Business twice, yet he's still in the Hurt Business. I don't understand. <laughs> I don't he doesn't it, really care about what they're doing with right. them no more. <laughs> but, you know, he was having this match, and the match seemed pretty good for a minute there. He looked – Shelton looked good in the match. I said, what if they have Shelton win this championship, MVP – that made this, you know, refined version of the United States Championship. Maybe this is a way for them to actually work their way back in the good graces of Bobby and with MVP. So I'm telling myself this whole storyline, you know, I'm being the Messiah, whatever, like doing this whole thing. <laughs> and, uh, you know, then it didn't happen. I'm like, oh, you know, okay, Damien, I get you. And I feel like that crowd, too, kind of felt the same way. Like, oh, it would have been cool. Like, I swear there were cheers for Shelton. And with Damien was like, eh, you know, you all right. You all right? And then Finn <laughs> Balor comes out when he lays out the challenge. And then the crowd is like, oh, no. You oh. are not beating Finn Balor. You will not accept this. Like, right, no. Right. Even though you know, it's WWE, whatever. So I like what Damien is doing as far as just this very, you know, logical way to turn heel. Hey, you and, – and we've seen it a lot recently. The Seth Rollins of the world. Why'd he turn heel? Because the crowd turned on him. Well, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, Becky yeah, Lynch. Yeah. Why did she turn heel? <laughs> because Bianca. <laughs> and it's, it makes sense. Like when the fans actually, you know, seem to, because, you know, like Daniel Bryan, a.k.a. Bryan Dancer said, you know, the fans are fickle. For a while, they're with you. <laughs> and then after a certain amount of time, Facts. Yep. they yeah. just start to turn on you, you know? So I just, I like it for, for, uh, for Damien as far as <laughs> the way he's going about this, you know? And even though, you know, there are still signs of that old, like, or not old, but the, the you know, Damien and Priest, those two personas. In this, I like the fact that he didn't just, like, lose his mind and go all bug-eyed. And yeah, just yeah, 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 yeah. That yeah. was cool. Yeah, yeah. You know, he literally was just like, nah, this is bullshit. I'm pissed. And, yeah. You know, handled his business, but was still, like, a human being versus, like, this persona. Yeah. So mm. I, I appreciated that. For Finn, I love it. I, I wanted it to happen. I love that it happened. I'm still a little apprehensive that yeah. this is going to be treated with, like, the respect for, for mm -hmm. him being champion where, you know, they're going to make storylines around this that are meaningful. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm not holding my breath around that. <laughs> we saw what happened with Shinsuke. Shinsuke was intercontinental yeah. champion, and he yeah. did nothing. Yeah. So yeah. I'm going to wait and five, see. That's crazy. Even that's crazy. Fox. Oh, my goodness. So we'll see. <clears throat> we'll see what happens there. Um, but I'm I'm happy he got the championship, and that's a that's a step in the right direction, you know. So fingers crossed they do right yeah. by him. Um, another heel turn on this night was uh, was seen as well. In in uh, just I mean I, I kind of didn't see this coming to be honest with you. So we have Edge, you know, <laughs> and Edge the week before, you know, said, "Hey man, he wants to he wants a, someone to step up and face him at WrestleMania." And, you know, this is a star-making moment for whoever basically is willing to step up. And he mentioned Phenomenal in that promo last week. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking, mm, that's a clear shot, man. It's going to be mm -hmm. AJ. I mean, sure, it may be Cody. You know, a lot of people were wanting mirrors. Cody. What's that? I said he said smoking mirrors too. So yeah, subtle. There was some subtle things in there yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah. So you know there was some teases, but I was like, man, he had been talking about AJ. You know, everyone's talking about AJ. Like that's the match that everybody wants to see. And sure enough, AJ shows up. You know, they're face to face. Then Edge drops the line about, you know, I don't want Omos's bitch. You know, like, I want AJ yeah. Styles, the pit bull. That's the one I want. You know, and I'm like, whoa. And, and you can see AJ say, what the fuck? What? Yeah. yeah. You know, and he was pissed off. And then Edge gets a cheap shot, forearm cheap shot, cheap mm -hmm. shot. I'm like, huh. Oh. But it's still okay at this point. It's like, yeah. you know, this temper's flaring, whatever. Yep. It's not until he kicks him in the balls where <laughs> it's like, whoa, wait a minute. Yeah, like, that's a yeah, clear yeah. heel tactic. <clears throat> and then, you know, he's he's conflicted, but he's, like, pulling his hair. He's doing the whole, like, rated R superstar thing. And then, you know, he's about to exit the ring. He thinks about it. Then he goes ahead and exits. But then he goes over to, like, the where they the, the ring announcer and the, the people that ring the bell go yeah. are, are at. And he grabs a chair. He grabs another chair. We all know where this is going. Mm. Chair toe. So he puts the chair down, but he's thinking mm -hmm. about it. He's conflicted. 
He's conflicted. Then out of nowhere, wow! Just yeah. going, <laughs> smashes at his head. Oh, fuck that. Head. Yeah. So AJ smashes at, uh, Edge smashes AJ in the head with the chair with the concerto. I'm like damn. And he's standing there. He's like, oh, what I do? What I do? And then wham! He hits him again. <laughs> I'm like, wait, what? I'm like, dude, is this match even gonna happen? Like, what is going on? <laughs> AJ sold it. He sold it yeah. well, man. Yeah. yeah. Like, AJ is basically dead on the mat right there, man. Like, he's out. Like, I don't. So it was interesting. I, I, at the end of it, I actually took a step back and was like, so I understand this match is probably, it's going to happen. Yeah. But I, I also kind of was like, man, are they trying to go a different direction? And it's like, hey, the edge kind of said, okay, he wants people to step up. But then this guy steps up and then he tries to take him out before the match. Like, what's going on there? So I need them to explain a little bit to me. Like next week, Edge needs to come out and needs to be like, "Hey, this is." I was expecting him to come out, but it kind of pissed me off because X, Y, Z. You know, I need some kind of explanation because right now I'm confused. Yeah. You said you wanted an opponent, you get the opponent, and then you take him out, you put the match in jeopardy. So logically, I'm a little thrown off by what they did. <laughs> to be real with you, but I'm thinking in my head they're gonna make some sense of it. Edge is Edge. He's going to tell some story. He's going to sit in that chair and you're going to tell a great story that's going to get me intrigued. AJ is going to, you know, have his part of it. He's going to get me intrigued. These guys are mega stars. They know what they're doing. So I feel like we're in good hands. It's going to be a great story. Um, but I need that. I need that explanation because right now I'm like, Edge, what you doing, man? Uh, Joe Bay, man, what, what did you take of, of this whole yeah. scenario? No, the follow-up is going to be key. Uh, yeah. This isn't a story that you can pull off with just any old body. I've been saying this for a while on, 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 our, on our show, the hard camera, that, like this is a match I've been wanting. Mm. Um, but I was nervous about, not nervous about, but I wasn't sure how they could pull it off because in the AJ Omas story, I feel like AJ should have been the heel in that story. Mm, I see. Against and, the yeah. And then they went with him being babyface, and then they just forgot it happened. <laughs> they didn't you know, no, no follow up, right? It's gone, right? And Edge is coming off a feud where he's defending he and his wife's honor uh, in a super babyface move against the Miz. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And I'm, I guess I'm kind of taking solace in the fact that yes, it's Edge. Edge just be doing shit sometimes. And if we remember WrestleMania last year, Edge was kind of taking the heel role yeah. in the yeah. triple threat match. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, there is a history there, um, even if – so there's a little bit of continuity I had to find, even if on the I surface like it kind that of – That helps me, too. Like, I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, you got to find it somewhere. Because on the right. surface, it's kind of like, word? That's kind of that's, – that's, that's, that's a Where's strong move. Where's this coming from? That's, right, yeah, right, right. Like, that's a strong move. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the chairs, the – Need my nuts, right? <laughs> like, that's, like, damn, you asked, like you said, he asked for it. Like, somebody come out. So, does he play like, oh, how dare you? Because I'm Edge. Like, how dare you mm -hmm. face me? Like, so yeah, the kind, the uh, not the kind of but the uh, the follow up is gonna be key. It's gonna be key. I'm down for the match. Been wanting to see this one. That's a great move for both of them. So, yeah. I'm all for it. Yeah, Devin, how about you? Man, ever since Edge came back, he told, you know logical stories so i think he'll be able to make sense yeah. out of this one yeah with the follow-up so I, I think the follow with follow-up is key so but i'm not i'm not even worried about that i do like the turn because even though i wanted this match i called for this match i predicted for this match i just didn't want it i just didn't want a couple of guys just have a competitive match i wanted the story right so if edge is gonna give me a story <clears throat> I'm fine with that <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. because I know the wrestler is going to be on 10, especially when yeah. going against the phenomenal AJ Styles. Now we got a story. Now AJ is going to be coming back pissed. You know how, how he is when he pissed. Yeah. So this is going to be a good, you know, recipe, man, for it. It's, it's going to be succulent. <laughs> I, I like it. that i like that I, love it. I mean to that point about you know them just not being two guys who just want to match like i i would personally i would have been okay with that based off of where both of their characters were like if it would have been just um you know edge wants great competition and aj shows up and let's see who's the best like i feel like there could have been a story there too where there's just animosity maybe and they it's like Edge and uh, well, not Edge, Randy Orton and AJ when they just kind of were like digging into each other's past, 
and saying like, you know, I'm better than you and you were, you know, off in TNA doing your thing and I'm here winning world championships and it took you this long to get here. Like, what's up with that? Like, it could have been around that too in the same way and I probably would have accepted it. But to your point, Devin, AJ had a match like that similar with uh, Shinsuke Nakamura WrestleMania and the lack of any animosity you know, maybe led to when we got to WrestleMania, the crowd being a little bit lukewarm, especially Mm -hmm. a very, um, you know, uh, uh, just casual crowd who doesn't really understand what this means, having these two guys who, you know, Shinsuke from New Japan and and AJ from all over the world, you know, meeting up like this in this matchup, you know, like what fireworks this can be and how big this is. Um you know, so but it they it didn't work. What for whatever reason it didn't work, and they were both baby faces until the end where mm. Shinsuke kicked him in the nuts. Which AJ has a has a thing now. Yeah. History we get yeah. kicked in the nuts. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Get kicked in the nuts. Dude, lead that be wearing the cup. Now, <laughs> ain't even it out. True. You know what I'm saying? We need to start long term storytelling. He yes. needs to just say, hey, continuity to this that. This is a shit. problem, right? <laughs> I need to start wearing a cup. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna happen. Yeah. Somebody gonna kick him. They gonna be like, ah, oh, my. Yeah. They be like, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. Like, ah. Yeah, see, <laughs> got you. Yeah, never again. <laughs> oh, so, man. so I hear you there, man. I think that if there being a clear, like, bad guy, good guy dynamic and Edge being the heel for the first time since he's been back is intriguing, too. So seeing the rated R superstar yeah. return in that heel form, I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Um, anything else from from this week's raw? Because I'm about to move on to Revolution. But unless somebody has like we, something pressing, we, we gotta talk about you know what happened on SmackDown. You know the oh, last oh god the last I segment. I Come on, go bro. Ahead. How, I, can, I mean, know, look, it was great. It was great. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. I, I no, love, okay. <laughs> I love that final segment. Man, we have to talk about it, man. How go Brock ahead, man. came the out. The floor is yours. Uh, Oh, so first of all, the table is set. <laughs> you know, Tribal Chief comes out, Pyro entrance, you know, Pyro again Which in the she ring. She's still at the head of the table. The way they yes. framed it. So yes, that, I know, loved it. Roman was at the right and, and Brock was on the left. But the table was twi- was um, set up to where he's still technically at the head of the table. Yes. You know? <laughs> so I was like, because when they showed the other angle, I was like, oh, okay. He's technically at the head even though the camera makes it look like he's on the right side of the table Mm -hmm. but the actual (laughs) head of the table is where he's at so okay (laughs) continuity we got to keep that going that's that's the key word yes yes yes, for for today's vocabulary (laughs) that and succulent Yes, succulent. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Bonus word, succulent. Yes. Oh, God. <laughs> go ahead, man. Go ahead. Uh, so, you know, the tribal chief is sitting there, comes out, let, you know, he's there with his councilman, you know, and then Brock comes out. I love face Brock. He, this is the best right. version I, <laughs> I've, because uh, I'm getting entertained. Not only I'm seeing the violence, I'm getting entertained too. You know what I'm saying? He's been killing it as a face. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Interacting with the crowd. He don't even need Paul no more, bro. It is nope. done. It is decided, yeah. bro. Like, bro, I got these bars from now on. All right, man. Don't need your services anymore. He do, he does his own entrance. Yeah, just as good. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> comes <laughs> comes in there, lays it down. You know what I'm saying? Calls calls Mister calls him Mister Acknowledgement. And then like, hey, all right, calls Paul Heyman, Mister Dick. I'm like, oh, dude, this is. I'm loving this. I'm loving this. I'm just <laughs> loving it, man. And, you know, he says what he said. You know, he's going to win, whatever. So I don't know why Paul is so keen on on the idea that Brock is going to lose the championship this Saturday at Madison Square Garden. It's not gonna happen. Yeah. You no don't way. think so? No way. Why do you keep on mentioning that, though? That, that, because right. he's hoping that he does. Because he's, yeah, he's yeah, terrified. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't even matter because... They're gonna have the match anyway. He slows so, down yeah. on it, man. He's like, he's like, and it's not going to happen. You're not going. I mean, to Bobby's not gonna out. be there, so I don't know. Right. We just need to stop right. What if Seth pops up? It's it's not gonna be. Mm. Seth. It's not gonna be. If it did, look, I would. I said it. I said it before. You know, on our, our last podcast, I said, yes. "Hey, yes. there is still that MSG show," and Paul mm. brought that up. I'm not getting my hopes up. I don't think they know what they want to do with Seth yet. Because there's a whole thing with him and KO for the tag team titles. But then Stone Cold is supposed to have something with KO at WrestleMania. 
So what are we doing? I need them to do something with Seth, but I don't yeah. think they know yet. And yeah. I, I, I think this, even though I would be happy with Seth being put into the match, I yeah. feel like doing it this way with him beating Brock at MSG in a surprise like that, I don't know, man. Like, I, I feel like the time is, that moment is past for me. Like, for me, it, it feels like it's just kind of jammed in and we don't really have a plan. And I, I, now I'm locked into this one-on-one -on -one matchup. I'm just like, yeah, this is the match. Want. That's yeah. it. You know, champion versus champion, <laughs> unification match, one-on-one. -on -one. Okay. You, you had the contract signing. Mm. We're done. Like, that's it. Mm. Just those My, two. The Messiah. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. just why I see, you know. And <laughs> I want something for Seth, too. Believe me. And I want him to be main event at WrestleMania before his, yeah. his time is, is, is done in WWE. But I just – I think that moment – if he would have wanted the chamber – Mm -hmm. I felt like it made a lot of sense. Yeah. But now it just feels like we're just going to do it. Eh, yeah. Nah. Yeah. Or even at day one. Don't day one would have made sense too. Yeah. yeah. That, yeah. Whole rumor, that whole rumor that he was supposed to win it, you know. But yeah. you know, Roman Reigns catching COVID. That, the whole Roman Reigns what. COVID history, even yeah. from you know, WrestleMania two years ago when yep. you know it was supposed to be him and Goldberg. But Roman Reigns catching COVID this year, I mean, that affected Big E. Yo, they, don't, yeah. they don't love Big E like that. And I've been kind of feeling nah, that for a while. They don't. He's I back in the tag ranks. You know what I'm saying? How on a different you know, brand now. Yeah, on a different brand. And you know, when they when they announced Brock, like, you know, in my end, I was like, okay, Brock, Brock kind of had to win that match because if you can't follow through on what you promised, you gotta deliver bigger. So mm -hmm. I had no problem with yeah. Brock winning that match. Okay. I didn't like that Big E took the pin, but Brock winning that match. But again, the rumor of Seth Rollins winning that match. Like his whole reign, if he was supposed to win it, his whole reign is now derailed. I imagine we'd have seen Seth and Bobby at mm. Mania in yeah. some form or fashion. Yep. Um, my vision for Seth Rollins right now, if he has a match, the closest thing I can think of is maybe Austin Theory. Yeah, which is oh my well, god, that could be with Pat McAfee. Uh, <laughs> we, yeah. we, we might get packed events, <laughs> of course. Right. To, to I, eyes, I have a hard time believing we're gonna yeah, get man. I feel yeah. I got a hard, how old is Vince now? Man, 70 76. Yeah. We're not doing that to him. Yeah. No. Man. Oh man. His body man. can't take all this. I can barely understand a word he's saying now, <laughs> bro. Seriously. Just mumbling the shit out of hey, this. Man. Vince, don't take don't take any bumps. No None. Bumps. I don't need to see that. I'm good. <laughs> no bumps. Not my <laughs> uncle Vince. Peacock if I want to see that. I'll go on Peacock and watch <laughs> some of your matches. True. It's fine. True. But yeah, 2022, <laughs> nah, you can keep that. You can chill. Well, yeah, man. But Devin, man, keep going because I know you're not even at the park no, yet. I'm not. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm not. Oh, <laughs> man. Because, man, the tribal chief he took the mic. He was like, what? He was handed the mic from the council. <laughs> he picked it up from the table and it. I thought that was funny. <laughs> he had it right there. He just could have grabbed it, but Paul picked it up, gave it to him. <laughs> Put it in his Right. <laughs> He's literally those little those little things. Yes. Oh so it does, better. man. Yeah. I was like, dude, this is great. Clearly right in front of him. He just could have just picked it up. <laughs> <laughs> he was, he was like, no, nah, here you go. Uh, the <laughs> but man, he grabbed the mic. He was like, Man, you you got this twisted farm boy. I was like, Oh shit. He just like, man, he was like, This is my company. Like, I'm the man. You see the cameraman right there? That's my cameraman. He was like, see these people? These are my people. You see the Usos pointing like this. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Playing along with it, man. I'm like, oh uh, shit. He just going off. He's like, you see these two people, the commentary team? These like these, like these are my people. You know what I'm saying? Cause they talk about me. They brag about me. You see this WrestleMania sign? That's me. I'm Mr. WrestleMania. I was like, Bro, just yeah. bars killing it, yeah. man. Yeah. He say, see the security? They even work for me. And I'm like, oh, okay. Oh, and yeah. hey, Brock was stood up. Was like, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Flip the table on him. I'm like, oh, yeah. shit. Yeah. Yeah. F5. And then some dumbass motherfucker decided to square up with Brock. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> the dumbest thing you can do. What are you doing? Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> The brightest idea was like, well, just come on. Yeah, well, I'm going to get one. Yeah. Let me yeah. get one at least. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, man, Brock Lesnar, he killed it too. I just love the chemistry between the two and the story they tell. I'm excited. I know this match has mixed feelings with, with the, the general audience. 
but mm. I'm not one of them. I'm so keen on this on this yeah. story. I'm down for it. It makes sense for them to put the titles together because it's not that I think about the brand split is coming to an end now. I put more thought on it. Maybe because they need to put that WWE title and give it some juice because that universe was way ahead of the way yeah. the WWE yeah. title I mean, it's got It's got juice right. now with Brock. Well, yeah. You know, the Brock thing about it, if you double champion. Bobby held it. I feel what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. But you, well, you got the face of the company. Yeah. I'ma hold this. I'ma hold both of them. And then you give them that like similar story to <laughs> to uh Kenny Omega when he had all the titles and he just slowly mm. started dropping them. So if he drop a title, yeah. WWE title, or either or, he still I got think one we're on the same page there because I feel yeah. like they're not gonna do like an undisputed championship and it'd be mm. one championship. I think he's gonna hold two, and mm. I think he's gonna defend them separately. And, you know, eventually somebody will beat him for one of them, but he'll still be a champion even when he yeah. loses the one. So, yeah, I think, yeah, yeah you, I, I feel you there. I mean, um, overall, Roman Reigns is killing it. Like you said, yeah. face of the company. Like, to, and I, I feel like there's no <laughs> other outcome for that match but for him to win. Like, yeah. I just don't see Brock winning. It just doesn't make sense. Like. Put this is your chips. future. This is Catching your future. all this is, in. <laughs> right. It's everything. This is right. your, your then, now, and forever, <laughs> right? Like, like, Roman Reigns is it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, so yeah. you got to keep putting that new momentum behind him and, you know, have him carry you to as great a heights as he can. And eventually, whoever it is that does beat him, I'm hoping it's going to be someone like a Big E <laughs> that, you know, you can use to elevate them as well you know or even a drew mcintyre that'd be cool too you know and yeah. whoever beats him it's gonna be huge like it's gonna be massive he gonna be the man yeah. yeah and brock doesn't need that brock is already established he's already like one he's of the goats fun, when it comes to mm -hmm. wwe you know what i'm saying in wrestling in general so yeah. now he's just having fun he can help establish roman even further mm -hmm. if they want to do the match with the rock next year cool you mm -hmm. know that's another you know, want to knock off of his bucket list, you know, let me take him out too. Um, <laughs> you know, like, I think they could do that. But I, I, I like the idea of, hey, because in a way you protect him too, even if he loses, he's still champion if he loses one of those belts. Mm -hmm. So who knows how long this thing goes, man. Yeah. But, you know, I can see that. I can see that yeah. definitely, definitely. I could see – now, now story-wise, I could see a Brock win, like someone has to knock Roman Reigns off the high horse. I don't believe it'll be Brock. I think they'll do a great job of teasing it and creating that drama. Yeah, okay. um, I do see Roman winning, but I don't. It, when Roman loses that championship, the Raw championship, I think he loses it in a multi-man match where he doesn't get pinned. Oh yeah, they could do that too. I'm, yeah. Yeah. So they can get but the does belt that take off away of from the, yes, the, the, you know, yes. the rub. You know, like you the transfer of power. They yeah. don't. They don't love Goldberg. <laughs> they don't love Big E. They don't love Raw like that. Yeah. Yeah. Raw used to be Big Bro. Now it's the literal redheaded stepchild. They don't love Raw <laughs> yeah. like that, right? That's true. Yeah. They're gonna protect that Big E. That uh, sorry, Big E. They're gonna protect that Roman Reigns reign. They're gonna protect yeah. the undefeated streak. But he's not going to carry both belts for a long time. So uh, yeah. the 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 real loss is when he loses that universal championship. The one yeah. that's really going to mean the most. Yeah. Um, so I can see. I love. I, I love this Roman Reigns when he's super cool. But when he feels like someone, and there's a lot of people who try to chip at his ego. But that's that's the that's the switch for him. Mm -hmm. When you try to chip at his ego and his place in the company, he's not going to get out of body for like Rey Mysterio. He might get out of body for somebody who might be close to on his level, like a Brock Lesnar. Yeah, he saves it. He saves that emotion for the names who really could get him out of body. Seth Rollins got him mm -hmm. out of body, mm -hmm. right? So he saves that. I really like that nuance. There's a lot of nuances to this Roman Reigns character that he has figured out that I, I love. I love about it. Yeah, That's I mean, honestly, point. too, like, still, and and Devin, we agree on this. One of my favorite matchups for Romans when he went against Jay. You know, and that was because yeah. it was so personal. Jay Uso, like yeah. that I, match. I had, I had grown man tears, bro. Man, that's when I acknowledged him. That was my straight up. Table. Oh, had to order up. my shirt. I don't WWE know who shop. I am. Like, yeah. what is going on? What, yeah. dude? Yeah. We got you, bro. We got you. Uso. <laughs> Put some in the VT. Oh my god, I lost my mind. Like, I got out tears. When did he learn to act? 
What's going right. on here? He, right, he activated like it was a robot activate tears yeah. now. Deactivate tears. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Bro, straight up. So straight good. Up. Like, yeah, there's so many, like you said, nuances and just like just the, the character right now is, is just on another level. And there's certain yeah. people that bring that out of him mm. even more so. So yeah, that, that's just such a great point. Mm. Um, yeah, I mean, we're all looking forward to this. You know, and we we're all in agreement. More than likely, it's going to be Roman Reigns, but still, they're going to do a hell of a job. I know probably during that match, I'm going to say, is Brock going to do this? Like, there's going to be Most moments time. where Most it's going to look time. like he's going to win because they, yeah. they know what they're doing yeah. when it comes to these two. They're going to but tell a story. They're going to tease. They, they did are. it for SummerSlam for John yep. Cena. He was mm -hmm. like, I only need three seconds, just one, two, three. Yeah. I'm like, you make yeah. a strong case, but I already know. But right. Fees, right. He changed his pick. He was I like, I was hey. like, I'm all in. Close my <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. He had me. I was like, damn, this the is the record breaking show. win finally. Yeah. Then he came up with the yeah. t shirt. I said, man. oh man, here we go. Here we go. This they made exactly right one, one shirt. No. <laughs> one shirt. They made like, one shirt for him to wear. And, and, you know, <laughs> beat that man clean. You got to smash his bitch ass. I was yeah. like, oh. Hollywood. Send him in no more Hollywood. Yeah. Don't send him back here. Right. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> Like, I'm sorry, Hollywood. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, boy. Yeah, oh, boy. Man. You got yeah, the bars. Man. Yeah. Yo. Oh, man. Cool. So, yeah, we got a lot going going on going into WrestleMania. We're on the road to WrestleMania. It's going to be a lot of fun as we get there. But All right, guys. That's going to wrap up for part one. Be on the lookout for part two along with the after hours episode as well don't forget about that and you can always find the awesome podcast and the video platform on our website clarkstreetwrestling.com st for the abbreviation and don't forget about our merch we got some great merch for you beast house hoodies coffee cups notebooks even blankets yeah i said it we got blankets for this winter time up in here in the shy to get all warm and closer to your significant others so don't forget about it clarkstreetwrestling.com forward slash store for your pleasure it is decided 